Happy Monday. From Good morning. Georgia, Georgia at the Freightliner yeah. dealer. We got delivered this morning and the Freightliner was literally right down the road. So we figured we'd just stop in and get the fuel gauge sensor taken care of. Yep. Already got it in. They're working on it. Yep. And what else? We have another load lined up. Yes. We will not talk about it yet, not but yet. we will tell you in the next clip. Yeah, it's either we're either going to be picking it up today or tomorrow, depending on how long it takes here. If it takes too long, it'll be tomorrow if we get out of here pretty quickly. Well, we've already been here like an hour or so. so yeah, yeah, yeah. If we get out of here in enough time, we can pick it up today. So we'll let you guys know. It's warm. It is warm. It's warming up. <laughs> it it's is. not that bad right now it's in the not. sun, it's but not. or if you're in the shade, it's not really not that bad. But that's Georgia. Georgia. That is Georgia. It is. It's actually not too humid <laughs> right now, which I'm surprised. Yeah, yeah. But the babies are with us. I don't know if you can see them. They're back here. Eat the babies. They're being so good. They're just... Has he got a mouthful of grass? Oh. No. <laughs> They're just chilling in the sun. <laughs> We've been sitting in the driver's lounge for like the last hour. Or yeah, so. yeah. We wanted to come out, stretch our legs, let them stretch their legs and... Yeah. Hopefully it won't take too long. Hopefully they have the part here. Yeah. That's going to be the issue. Uh, if they don't have the part, then, I mean, I'm not going to turn down this load just because we can't read the fuel gauge. Mm -hmm. Well, well uh, yes. I can, because I've been gauging it by how many miles we go. We fill up, I know how many miles we can go, and then we fill up again mm -hmm. a lot sooner, so. Yeah, and actually Jason took the sensor off last night and cleaned it, and that helped. seemed like it helped, but yeah. it didn't. Yeah. It's, this morning when we started it up, it was still Check not Check engine light right. went off. Yeah, yeah, but the gauge still isn't reading gauge right. Gauge still ain't so. working right, so. Just getting that a quick little fix. It's just yeah. under warranty. And yeah, yeah. So yeah, man, I'm excited about this next load. But like we I said, are. we'll tell you about it. And you'll find out in this vlog. But yeah, is that it? I think that's it. That's it right now. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday from Alabama. Yep. Yeah. Truck is fixed. I don't know what city we're in, but we're on the back roads, uh, US 80. US 80 <laughs> heading towards Meridian. Yes, we got the truck fixed and we got picked up on our load. Well, let's tell you what happened with the truck first. So, yeah, oh my gosh. They had the whole dash torn apart trying to find the wire for the fuel sending unit mm -hmm. and it ended up being a like the wire was cut or not cut not cut it was just a bad connection was, yeah, yeah bad there was connection. a bad connection where they uh connected the harness to inside the dash somewhere so so they got that fixed yeah and it was a good thing we took it in because there was actually a recall we didn't know about there was on some of them with the brake um there was a bolt on yeah, the brake bolt. that something to do with that um if you have a 19 Cascadia and next time you're in the shop, uh, go get it. Ask about that. Ask yeah. about it because so it was a safety thing, a safety recall, they said. Yeah, so they fixed that. We were there pretty much all day. I think we got there oh a little after God. like 8, like between 8 and 8.30 in the morning. And they closed at 6 and we got out of there at 6.30. But yeah. we were so grateful that they got us in and out the Mi same day. Middle you know? Georgia Freightliner yes. and Macon, Georgia. They did an awesome job. They did. Really good job. Really helpful people. You know, very friendly. And yeah, we, we were pretty pleased. Yes. That's rare for us. A dealership so <laughs> yeah so now our fuel is reading right yeah yeah oh my gosh um and yeah we got picked up this morning so like uh, obviously since we didn't get out of there till 6 30 last night we couldn't pick up yesterday but yeah. we picked up first thing this morning in georgia and where are we going viva las vegas Woo! we're going out west yes <laughs> <laughs> we have not been out west and gosh uh, what like over a month i, I mean it's been, a, it's been a while probably like two months yeah <laughs> yes so yeah. yeah we're going to nevada we deliver thursday and we've got one piece at what was our weight three three something 29 three, i think it was yeah, yeah. yeah lightweight lightweight and uh yeah deliver thursday morning jason's already contacted some agents out west to yeah. let him know we'll be out there and available yeah it's uh <laughs> 
See what happens. We'll see what happens. We yeah. did even look at the load board this morning. Yeah, There's we're a lot of tractor the... trailer loads coming out of there. I know like. California was looking pretty good for tractor trailer. I've seen a bunch of loads on there, two fifty, three dollars a mile. Yeah. So... I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, no straight truck loads. No straight uh, truck, and they were one... all. It was all lightweight stuff though, like ten thousand, yeah. twelve thousand pounds. Yeah. Um, nothing that would fit in our truck but yeah i mean if you have a tractor trailer it ain't a bad time to go out to california right now yeah we have had that we've called on loads before on the load board and even though it the weight wise and dimensions would fit in the truck the customer requests a 53 foot trailer so we weren't so, able yeah. to do those yeah, this yeah. has been a while back but that that yeah. does happen sometimes <laughs> but, um, if there's a load on there that I, and i always look but if there's a load on there that i absolutely like i'll call on it you know and ask yeah absolutely. it never hurts never to know. ask but we've always it's always been shut yeah, down yeah that's we always true. Get, a lot of the, the the agents that put stuff on there don't even think of about the express trucks, I don't think. And then they when don't. you call them, they're they like, don't. oh, yeah. I didn't, I didn't know Landstar had those type of trucks. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But these babies, what are you doing down there? They're riled up, ready to go P-O-T-T-Y. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing our driver swap. And we uh, actually... What a crazy weekend, right? Yeah, crazy. Uh, we actually decided to take a different route. We Normally, we, we would have are... out of uh, Georgia, where we were, we would have went up to the 40 and across. No, but well, to Atlanta and then across. Yeah, Atlanta and across. Out, yeah. out through there and yeah. we're trying to avoid some of those major cities the big just cities yep. you just don't know what's going on there right now we're still going to be passing safe. through dallas this mm -hmm. route but i think right now they have curfews and all that and of course we'll be looking on our phones checking oh, yeah. the news and traffic and making sure it's safe like before we get there 600 miles from Dallas right now, so it'll yeah. be late tonight. It'll be almost about time to do when we're doing our driver swap uh, before we get through there. Oh my gosh, it's getting warm in here. It now. is getting warm. <laughs> so, so we're, we're going to let the dogs up. out, <laughs> get on the road. Yeah, we'll catch up with you guys on the way to Vegas. Santa Fe? Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa. I always get those mixed up. Yeah, it's the end of his shift. He's delusional. <laughs> <laughs> that was your drive last night. Boring. Was it? Yep, coming up that 287. It was funny, going through Dallas last night, I was like looking at every single overpass yeah. we were going over, just worried of, you know, somebody would, because you keep hearing about people throwing rocks or bricks yeah. off the overpasses and bridges and stuff but yeah coming up that 287 out of fort worth all the way up to amarillo that's a that's a boring drive dark <laughs> boring gotta yeah. go up through all those little towns at least there's not much traffic on it no yeah 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 all I was the cattle like, haulers cattle haulers that was pretty much it I, yeah. there wasn't many trucks passing me last night so yeah. and you stopped in amarillo and fueled us up and yeah, we are, I was just looking up, we're 702 miles from where we'll be delivering in the morning. Yeah, we'll be there late tonight. Yeah. Yeah, well, because we're going to gain two hours too there, so. Yes, that's true. Yeah. From central time. Yep. So we'll get there at a decent time tonight, park uh, nearby, and then deliver in the morning. And yeah. Yeah, and then see where we go from there. Um, we haven't gotten a backup yet. A few things have been coming across nowhere out there. It is still early, but um, we're probably, if we don't get anything before we deliver, we might head down to Barstow. Probably. Just to put us in a more central area to be able to get to California, Southern yeah. California, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's usually what we do because we, we usually don't have the greatest of luck out of Vegas. No, that's, I don't even know if they've opened stuff up yet there. 
Oh yeah, like yeah. slot machine slot load machines because the casinos are, are closed. That's yeah. true. I didn't even think about that. No. Wow. Yeah. That's all we've ever gotten out of uh, Vegas. So. Yeah. Yeah, we, I think we'll just go ahead and as soon as we deliver, head on down. Unless we get that one call coming in hot. Coming in hot. Where are we at? at a, I was back there making pilot. my coffee. We're at the pilot oh, in the Santa pilot. Rosa. Oh, okay. Yeah. Since yeah. we're heading west, it's on the right. Easier in yeah. and out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, she can go either that way or that way to get back to the 40. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking over. And man, oh my gosh. <sighs> Still waking up. <laughs> <laughs> I had a half a cup of coffee. I just remade a new cup of bulletproof coffee. She, I was, she needs yeah. a new coffee pot maker. I know it's acting up. It's lasted a while though. How long have I had it? I've had it. Not long. Gosh. Yeah. No, you just got it for this truck. That's true. Yeah. You just, well, I got it before. Not long before. Yeah. Cause I ordered it when we were in Oregon. Oregon. And that's when we put out the video we were selling our truck. So it's been... Oh, well, didn't you order that when we threw your other one away? That's right. Yeah, but that was right before we went to Oregon. <laughs> no, I remember because we had to go to the Amazon locker in Oregon, remember, to pick it up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, it's, yeah. Been, it's been six, it may seven, be a year. Not it's... a year, but it's been, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, oh, oh, we're making it so bright. Every time a trailer goes by, the sun reflects <laughs> off it into here and makes us, our faces all bright. Mm -hmm. So we got to pause in between each truck. I know, but yeah, it's been acting up like when you it's like lift it up and put it down and to hit the button for it to start, it's not like doing that I and you have to like to beat keep, it up. Yeah, it's, uh, it's time for a new one. I, I do like this little one, but I think I might go back to the one like we threw away that was the K compact because it held more water. Yeah, especially because I do two pods for my coffee. So I have to fill it twice with the other one. It has a little bit bigger. When are you going to try reservoir. that? Uh, that steeper coffee maker thing. oh yeah somebody sent uh, me a, a a company had sent uh one of those what's it called um <laughs> french press <laughs> french press that's I, it yeah, yeah um I'm not they a had coffee just guy. they had contacted and said they wanted to send one to me so they had sent it and it got there while we were home i haven't tried it yet but i know it takes a lot more things to do that and so i'm just waiting till i have the time sitting for a weekend to try yeah, it out. To try it out. Plus, you got to get the kind of coffee that you need. Yeah. I guess we could bust out a bunch of the K pods. Yeah. <laughs> right. But like, you got to either get ground coffee, right? Yeah, or grind your own. Or, or grind or, yeah. your own, yeah. and then. So yeah, we're we're gonna try that. I've yeah. heard that makes coffee like so much better. Yeah, I've heard that too. Oh. So yeah, I'm I'm, cur I'm excited to try it. I, I've always it. hated that she's used uh, the K pod things or whatever, because you're they're those things are made of plastic. Then you're running hot water through them, and I know I'm sure they use a plastic that's BPA free. Well, not BPA or... free, but it's made for hot water to because like you can mic there's some plastics you can microwave you can't and all that and but i don't know i just i don't like plastic <laughs> I, we use it it's like in every bit of our lives I but i still despise it yeah, so. we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. but man um we already let these guys out and i guess we're gonna go ahead and end this one here and we'll pick up the next one to see what happens after we get this delivered in vegas yeah that sounds good. good. All right. Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. And until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. You already win, O-U-T. Come on. Come on. You going to make it? Come on. Come on. Make it. Come on. Come on. Show your acrobatic skills. Being all shy. <laughs> <laughs> Old dog.